What it up, y'all? This is this LB Red Sun along with you guys, girls. So today is gonna be another reaction video towards Moon Knight season one, episode five. So previously to the previous episode of Moon Knight, we just saw a creepy hippopotamus, and then Moon Knight it just like he got shot and killed and died, it like he's in some kind of underworld thing and something like that. And uh, there's all this some weird freaky stuff that's going on in that last episode, which really freaked me out. So I want to know who this hippo is, what's going on, why is he in this realm, and how is he going to get out of this. So less talking and more reaction. And please feel free to comment, like, and share. And please, welcome to my channel. Alright, here's my reaction to Moon Knight, Season 1, Episode 5. Let's get it, baby. Action! Oh. You're Mark, I didn't shoot you with a uh, rhinoceros. And you're right. I'm. S you're right. See it, that? It was he contradicted himself. So you and know this is an illusion. It's not real. Sense or nonsense? Nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That's really cleared this whole situation up for me. Don't the hippo look cute and disturbing at the same time? Like, oh gosh, this will really bake your noodle. But I dead, we're dead. Yes. So this is like Marvel's oh, Underworld, gosh. Moon Knight's Underworld version. Of the Jewot. Jewot, the Egyptian underworld. Yeah. See, this, this is Marvel's Egyptian Jewish underworld. Goddess uh -huh. of women and children. And hospital. That's the. Yeah, all that stuff makes you really want to go crazy. Oh, oh shoot. Oh Is this their way of doing judgment towards the, uh, the person's soul? What if they don't balance? <laughs> she said, weep. <laughs> so that explains the previous episode of why the lights and everything were shaking. They're on like a boat. Okay, that explains. I don't know about you, but my memories are a freaking mess. Oh, shoot. So this is, is that a memory, a reflection of his consciousness that they're in and that's them turning back time so all of this has got to be his memory things that's probably their third personality that's probably jake in the comic books it's just a creepy cat filled with dead bodies that's all it is what in the world is this like marvel zombies oh no that is creepy i would not walk in that memory yeah, that's creepy yeah, he keeps uh -huh. saying it about a little boy. Why is there a child in a room filled with people that you've killed? So, okay, hello, so that's hi. Stephen or Mark, whoever it is. That's them when they were younger. Hey, 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 he like JJ Abrams. This is because going to answer my questions of when he was younger. So he does have a brother. And a good question that I like to ask, what if he loses his other conscience in death in some weirdness? Will he be incomplete or...? So his brother died, probably. Come on, buddy. You were supposed to keep him safe? Stephen, let's go. Oh, man. Oh man, he had a very uh She's not coming. bad like childhood experience for losing his brother. So his mother was just in depression mode and just isolated. Or no parts of Steven. This is a very emotional journey. Okay, now we're in Mark's my territory. I see a lot of army and smoke. And and called for no witnesses, and I couldn't have a Is that Doctor Foley? They were 
is that? He surrendered himself to Kanju. This is excellent because I really, really love to see the origin story of Moon Knight and Steven. That's what I really want to see. Great! I see his origin story. Fear of spreading the upper world. Unbalanced. Are those monkeys on the side? Oh, this is bad. This is evil. This is really interesting. It'll be all your fault. No, 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 you can't! I won't do it! I won't do it! I do, I still do not believe this villain's mindset of an illusion of what he's putting through um, Mark and Steven's mind. I really don't believe this. It's an illusion. That explains the TV show's little action figures. So he had a split personality when he was little. The origin of uh, Stephen then. Stephen Grant has no fear. Interesting. Interesting. Why do you have to make him do this? Let me see what she did. Let me see what she did. You're not meant to see that. You're not meant to see that. That's the whole point of you. That she was kind. That she's still alive. No, 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 no,
Oh shoot. Oh wow. So is he really dead? And it's balanced. So is he at peace? Yo, this is so interesting! Wow, what a really great episode for season one, episode five of Moon Knight. Really, really interesting episode that we are seeing here so so far what we do discover now that it is true and possibility D, that it, they were in the underworld of his little death time when he got shot and everything so afterwards the hippopotamus is like in i guess in the egyptian mythology correct me if i'm wrong and stuff like that that the hippo um, lady i don't know her name she guides you through life and underworld and all that stuff blah, blah blah and the interesting thing that i found interesting was that during the course of the episode that steven and mark you know with their hearts they were two hearts it felt like it was unbalanced to certain things, you know, because like I said, um, while watching the episode, like the weight of his sins and his burden that he carried throughout all his life was in um, Stephen. Stephen is a made up um, person, made up personality that he got from the TV show, which explains why he developed that personality and stuff like that. So I guess Stephen was like his little weight carrier, like to mask everything. You know like how you go into life and you see people mask themselves like, oh no, no. I'm all cheering and all that stuff, but deep down inside their heart and soul, they just really destroyed and struck. That's what I found out what Steven was. Um, it has a really good message in this episode and stuff like that. Um, and then we discover soon the origins of why he developed these split personalities was that the death of his brother that he blamed himself on, and his mother also, you know, she was very depressed and everything, which was really a depressing moment that I found in that episode. As his mother was destroyed, and then he took the blame on himself, and then that's why, like I say, he developed that personnel of Steve and everything. And Mark, I guess, he became just more militant and more seriousness, and surrendered his life and soul to something greater to keep him surviving and stuff like that, you know. Um, but it was really, really sad to see his mother go through that and the pain and stuff that he has to go through that. And don't his dad, correct me if I'm wrong, look like J.J. Abrams. I swear that his dad looks like J.J. Abrams look alike and stuff like that. I just have to point that out, you know, stuff like that. I love J.J. Abrams, that he, he looks like, like stuff like that. Um, and also, as they were going to the underworld thing, like the to, um, past to the Egyptian thing, when they were on underworld boat or something like that, um, while they were fighting the sand dudes and stuff like that, we lose Steven. So I guess when he lost Steven, the scale, she said, was balanced. So now, Mark must have all his senses together. His heart is probably stabilized, all the burden is lost, and he feels like a free man like himself. And that imagery does also remind me of Black Panther's imagery when T'Challa went to the ancestral realm with his father and talked with peace of him, where Black Panther died and all they go at, stuff like that. So that part right there was like a very peaceful momentum from for uh, Mark's mind and stuff like that. So I guess since we're going to the final episode, which is episode six, I'm assuming this is the final episode, that I guess that we're gonna see Moon Knight's full potential and full personality of who um, Mark, um, you know, who he really is. He's gonna stand firm in his strict personality and his strict character. Guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that's my thoughts and review about Moon Knight season one, episode five. I'm really, really digging this marvelous, no pun intended, episode here. Um, I just can't wait to see what they're going to do with it next and stuff like that. I really think Steven, that's Steven, but Mark is going to find his potential and maybe somehow, some way, because remember, Conscious in a previous episode, tell Mark to free me or something like that, or Steven, I forgot what his name, but I think he said tell Mark to free me. So I guess in this episode, he's going to be freeing himself and he's going to be more powerful than ever. Then he's going to redeem himself and it's going to be a lot of great greatness of the full potential of Moon Knight. Well, like I said, I've asked my episode of um, this season here. Really, really great episode, y'all. What is your, and Oscar Isaac, can I just say, really great performance, man. Really great performance by the hit. I really, I love his performance. So, uh, 
third time if we say this, we're gonna wrap this up like that, stuff like that. What do you guys and girls thoughts about this episode? Comment below and let me know. Also, if you had enjoyed my reactions and thoughts and theories about this TV show, click that like, subscribe, and share, and more of this we post it each and every other week. I'm glad you guys are here to the tune. Thank you all for tuning in. Much love and peace to you also. This is Denzel B. Red signing out with a bag. <laughs> Woo!